so for today's video I've got a video that I've never actually seen on YouTube before. Now it's quite a lot in one but I thought it would be a really nice fun one-off idea. So today I've got my makeup of the week. I've got five makeup looks ranging from like a day look to an evening look to a glam day look, I don't know. Every day of the week I did something different and I filmed it all so I really hope you enjoy this video and do give it a thumbs up if you like the idea. So to start off with, I'm using my L'Oreal True Match Genius 4-in-1 foundation and this is actually a cream foundation so I've just blended this all over my face with my beauty blender and it's a really lovely glowy foundation. Next up I'm using my Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Blur just to prime my under eyes ready for concealer and then I'm going to use my Maybelline Anti-Age Rewind Concealer that everyone hypes over, I have jumped on it and I'm loving it for everyday use. So I'm just going to pop this under my eyes, on the high points of my face, and again, use my beauty blender to blend it out. This is a really glowy, quite creamy, everyday look. To contour, I'm using my Topshop Contour Cream in the shade Sweet, and I'm just swiping this under my cheekbones, and then I'm going to blend it out. I'm also doing it along my nose, but I'm just doing this really, really lightly, and then, strangely for me, I'm using my beauty blender to blend it in. I usually just use a brush. And I'm also using the Topshop Glow Stick on my cheeks. So I was going for a really highlighted look today and quite glowy. So for contour, I'm using my Sleek Contour Kit and I'm just gonna place the product on my cheek and then blend it out. I hadn't put powder on, so this was really hard to blend out. I messed up there. And then I'm gonna use my L'Oreal True Match Powder to set under my eyes and all the points on my face. And then I'm just gonna blend with a bigger brush the rest of that powder over my face. So for highlight, I'm using the Sleek Highlighter from the kit. I'm not using a very appropriate brush, but you know, it worked. And then just using my L'Oreal Brow Plumper in my brows, and that's literally all I'm doing for brows. It just makes them look a bit more full and keeps them in place all day. So I'm just going to grab a bit of powder and pack that on my lids. I'm not going to do any eyeshadow today. I didn't feel the need. And then I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply my Max Factor 2000 Calorie, which is my absolute favourite mascara of all time. Makes my curls stay up and last all day. I'm adding my Avon Glow Bronzer, I love this so much, and then some other mascara just to add a bit of length. On my lips, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Le Matte Lip Pencil, and this is lovely, it's just a really nice pinky colour, and when I've got nothing on my eyes, I like to go for quite a pinky lip, because usually I'll go for like an orange eyeshadow, so I don't really like wearing pink lips, so I'm taking the opportunity and wearing a pink lip today. So this is the final look, I just had my hair in two Dutch braids and it's just a really simple plain look and it was very suitable for Monday. On to Tuesday, so I was going for some bad brows today so I was using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and this is my favourite thing for brows, I cannot stress enough how good it is. It's very easy to go overboard but once you practice it's just so easy. And then I'm going to set that with my Benefit Gimme Brow, again another favourite product. I wanted to go for a really glittery eye look today so I'm using this eyeshadow stick pencil from The Balm in the shade Moonshot and I'm just popping this all over my lids and then I'm going to use my Naked Basics palette, an everyday favourite for me and use this colour at the end which is Venus and then I'm going to pat that all over the cream colour and then I'm going to grab the colour Naked and blend that through my crease just to add a little bit of definition. Again I'm using my Max Batch 2000 calorie, if I don't wear lashes I use this every day and then I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Sculpt Foundation, so this is like half the consistency of a normal foundation, so it's not thick at all, it's really lovely for everyday use, and of course using my beauty blender as I do every single day. So I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Concealer Pen, again another favourite concealer, L'Oreal have insane concealers and foundations, I love them. And of course using my beauty blender to blend this out as I will every day this week, it's just my favourite way to do it. And then I'm going to set it with this yellow colour from my Anastasia uh, Contour Kit, that's what it's called. I haven't really explored this much, so this was pretty much the first time I was ever using it, and then I'm grabbing the contour colour on my cheeks. And do you know what? It did look really lovely. It blended out really nicely and I did like the way it looked overall. I do like to go and give my contour an extra blend afterwards because I don't want it to be too sharp. And then I'm going to go over with my MUA Undressed Highlighter. I found this so hard to use. Like, it, there was nothing there, so I was a bit disappointed with that. And then I'm using my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer all over the perimeter of my face. 
For my lips, I'm using Daring Nude by Maybelline, just a really lovely everyday nude, and it's matte, which is awesome. And this is the final look. I had my hair down and curled today in a side parting, and this is just a very everyday Emily simple look. On Wednesday, I started off with my Too Faced primer, and this is really great for filling your pores, which I've suddenly noticed I have some deep pores on my face. And then to prime my eyes, I was using my Maybelline Better Skin. It's really nice to use a concealer as an eyeshadow base and then just set it with some powder and it works exactly the same. So to set mine today, I was using my Sexy Mama powder from The Balm. This is a really lovely powder, although I don't find it suits my skin too much, which is why I like to use it to set my eyeshadow. I'm going to use my favourite ever palette today, which is the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette. And I'm going to use this orange colour, which is peanut butter. This is one of my go-to everyday looks. Just orange in the crease and drag it over the lid a bit and put a shimmery colour on the lid. And then that's me sorted. So I'm just going to add a slightly darker colour. I believe this is truffled. And then blend it out. Everything's looking a bit messy, but we're going in with a huge brush now and just blending it all out. And then, of course, in the centre of the eye, I'm going to add a shimmery colour and then again blend this all together so it doesn't look quite as scary. I do like to drag some colour under my eyes. I tend to go for the darker colour. And then I'm just going to finish it up with some winged liner, which I am using tape for. <laughs> And here is the final look. It kind of didn't go that great today, but you know, I'm gonna deal. So, of course, using my Max Factor 2000 Calorie Mascara. Like I said, it's the only thing that keeps my lashes up. And then I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Illumi Magic Foundation. So this is quite dark. I was quite fake tanned on this day, so I have to be careful when I wear this, but I don't fake tan my face sometimes, so. Yeah, this fit perfectly today. And I was using my Maybelline Best Skin Concealer again. I just used this under my eyes. I do like this concealer, but I really didn't get on with the Better Skin Foundation. It broke me out, which is so sad. To set the concealer, I'm using my MAC pressed CC powder and I'm using a really dense brush to pack that on. I really, really love this and I love just packing it on then brushing it off. And on my cheekbones, I'm using Pearl by MAC as a cream colour base. And then I'm contouring with this Makeup Forever kit, which I never used before. And I'm not too sure what I think of it. I need to have a go with it a bit more, but the colours were really quite strange for contour colours. But they kind of, they looked alright in the end. I was just looking on the back there to make sure I got it right. But... Yeah, it looked good. And then I'm going over the top with my NYX blush in the shade Taupe, which is one of my favourites to contour. Using my Miss Sporty Insta Glow Bronzer on my perimeter of my face. I love this bronzer. It's one of my all-time favourites. They're just really lovely, glowy ones that just work with any skin tone. They have numerous different colours and they're really inexpensive. To sharpen up that contour a bit, I went under with the CC powder, just because I felt I needed it a little bit. And then I'm using Max Light Scapade to highlight my face. I'm using Max Bareness Blush on my cheeks just to add a bit of flush. I don't usually wear blush, so this was a really nice change. And then I use my Anastasia Brow Wiz on my brows. I really do like have to brush them out before, otherwise they're a bit crazy. But once they find their shape, my brows are really quite easy to fill in. And to set them, I'm using the Anastasia Brow Gel. I really do love this. To line my lips, I'm using Strip Down by MAC. And then I'm using Kat Von D's Everlasting Lip Lipstick in the shade Love Sick. I love this colour, I cannot get over it, I just think this looks so pretty and it's just really natural at the same time, I just, yeah, I love it so much. So today I started off with my Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC, I rarely use this anymore so it was a nice change and then I'm grabbing the Balm Voyage palette and just using the bronzer through my crease. I always like to start with a colour in my crease, it just, I find it so much easier and then I'm just going to keep adding slightly darker colours and darken up the crease and the outer corner. So halfway through this look I decided I wanted to go for a really pinky look so I'm grabbing one of the blush colours from the Balm Voyage palette and then I'm going to grab this shimmery colour and blend that into the inner corner. For eyeliner I'm going to use the Kat Von D and then I'm going to use some wispy lashes. So to prime my face I'm using MAC Strobe Cream all over my face. It just gives such a beautiful glow and it leaves my face feeling so moisturised. I'm going to do my brows before my foundation to avoid any mistakes. So I'm using the Brow Archery Putty which I think is amazing. It's just like a pomade but you don't have to bring a brush and a pot. It's amazing for travelling. I love it. And the colour is really good. So I'm going to set that with my Urban Decay Brow Tamer and use my Bourjois City Radiance Foundation. I was so impressed with this, like really impressed. I would wear it any day, I would wear it to an event, and then I used the Healthy Mix Concealer, which similarly I was so impressed with, I would definitely recommend trying these out. 
So to set that, I'm gonna use the MAC Prep and Prime Powder, and then I'm going to contour my face with this Rimmel Contour Kit. And the highlight in this was beautiful. Finally, a set that has a gorgeous highlight and contour. So to bronze, I'm using my Avon bronzer. This is in more of a shimmery shade. And then I'm gonna use Boldly Bare by MAC on my lips. And then Au Naturel from Avon, which is a beautiful matte lipstick. They have a huge range of matte lipsticks, and they're amazing. To finish off my eyes, I'm using the Max Factor Velvet Volume Mascara. This is really good for the bottom lashes. And this is the final look. Again, I had my hair in Dutch braids, and I just love these wispy lashes. They're so pretty. So Friday's look is a bit of a darker kind of evening look. So I'm starting off with my Urban Decay Eden Primer, and I'm using my Cool Neutrals palette by MAC. So I decided to go for a really kind of purpley color, but I'm gonna start off by just kind of etching out my crease with the brownie colors and then we're gonna get on to the purples. So we are actually going out and I didn't wear makeup in the daytime, so this is my evening look. So I was just starting basically by putting the purples through the crease to deepen it up. I didn't wanna go straight in there with a purple and make it super dark and messy, so I just started doing this gradually. And then I added my shadow stick from the Balm. This is one of their batter up ones and it's in the shade Slugger. So I just used my fingers to blend this over my eyes and then I used a brush with that colour on again and then a bigger fluffier brush just to blend it out furthermore. So I then grabbed this sparkly colour and used quite a big brush to put this across my eyelid. I wanted it to look quite distributed. So I just put some lashes on, same ones as before and then primed my face with my Nivea Men's Primer which I do quite like. So I'm just adding some MAC strobe liquid all over my face for some glow and then of course using my dip brow pomade. I look like I'm concentrating so much with this. I really rarely wear lashes without liner so this is quite a different look for me and I actually really liked it. So to set my brows of course using my Anastasia, uh, what's it called? Oh brow gel, that's what it's called and it's in the shade Granite I believe and then I'm just using some concealer to carve out my brows and make them look a bit more sharp. So I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in the shade 05. I do feel like this is quite dark for me, but I tend to use fake tan anyway, so I mean, I can make it work, I just have to be careful when I wear it. And then I'm gonna use my Bourjois City Radiance Concealer. Again, another Bourjois product that was new that I was extremely impressed with. I love this so much. Blending that out again with my Beauty Blender and then I'm going in with my MAC Translucent Powder. Again, this is just my favourite thing to set with and then I just brush it off my face. It just sits so nicely and it's really, really easy. So I'm going to use my Clinique Chubby Stick Highlight to add some highlighter to my cheeks and then I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender and then go over with my Mary Lou. This is my absolute baby. It just works, it's so good and you can actually see the highlight. I was rudely interrupted here but I'm just using my MAC powder all over the parts that I didn't powder and this is because we were going out and I wanted my makeup to last and then of course using my L'Oreal Sculpt Kit. I love this so much and my NARS Eater Brush. I have just got a new contour brush so you will be seeing something different very soon. Using my NARS Casino Bronzer, this is my go-to daily bronzer. I love it, it's perfect for my skin and it just looks so brilliant. And then I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick all over my lips and yeah, that's pretty much the look. Just a really purpley, mauvey look. I really think it looks beautiful, especially with the braids and this is what I wore on Friday when we went out. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you made it to the end. Congratulations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.